Hi, I'm Real Genetic Demon, and this is Space Command on the ZX Spectrum. Now I'm going to put a picture of the, of the cover on the front uh, of, on 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 the screen right now, so you can have a little look at it. This is one of the more expensive ones of this budget range at the moment. They, these this these ones are quite up there. These are in tens of the pounds rather than the usual sort of under a couple of quid kind of price at this point for Star uh, Space Command. I, I'm just wondering whether or not it's because it's kind of uh, near the end of the run of games that, that Virgin did, possibly. But anyway, this is one I recently picked up actually, and I did spend a, a few a few pounds um, in the tens rather than in the in the pounds but uh, the other thing that I always like with these particular games is they come with a with a picture of the the the, the culprits the people who actually uh, made the thing this was Terry Murray and Roy Poole now I'm quite convinced that these guys are also responsible for the game called Rider which is the one that I quite liked actually to be honest with you and it does feature on my channel before I'm quite convinced that these are the same people and and, and I'll put as I say there's a picture on the screen of them there now uh, one was a uh, university educated and the other one was was educated in Liverpool. He works at the post office for 14 years. That'll be that'll be Roy. So Roy and Terry. So Roy and Terry are back with another with another with another game. Uh, this time it's a shoot 'em up with kind of I think a nod. And I, I'm going to go through them in a minute. I'll cycle through a nod to Jetpack. Really, you have to basically defeat the base. Um, from 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 things, and um, there's notice there's unarmed aliens. Ah, that might be more useful for us. Should we make them unarmed aliens because it's a bit easier for me? Um, but you can also change your spaceship at the bottom corner there. And see how does that number eight? A different shapes ships, and then if we press fire or start the game with that one, we've got our ship. So una unarmed aliens will be good. So yeah, see, see, I was a little jetpack man. I, I think I think they're just having to go at the jetpack guys, realistically. Got to defend the base. I don't know how many impacts it can take before before we're in trouble. Oh, don't hit the barrier. They all come from the same direction, by the way. So it's quite technically, it should be quite easy to deal with them. I'm not sure how long I have to did last for to get through a level, but but it's all right. It's not brilliant. Um, uh, uh, to be fair, this is what I come to expect of the the the, the, the Virgin Computer Game range, um, the, especially the budget titles. They weren't. They weren't. They weren't. They weren't gonna. They weren't gonna just. They weren't gonna. They weren't gonna make light anybody's sort of. Um, you know, nobody's gonna go. Wow, that's the greatest game I've ever played. Because there's lots of them when they're unarmed. I've run out of laser fire though. Oh no! It goes down as I fire it. Oh right, I have to let it recharge. Um, yeah, they weren't gonna, they weren't gonna, they weren't gonna set the world on fire as, as such with the with the with the gameplay. Space Command. We'll have a look at a minute. I noticed earlier though when I knocked the joystick, it chose to like a different ship for me. Oh, there we go. It's scrolling through them there, at the bottom. And then press left to right, and it starts the game whether you like it or not. Marvelous. Oh, and they're armed now. They're even worse when they're armed. They're horrible when they're armed. Look at him. He's even worse. Look at him. It's crazy. They weren't bad, though. I mean, the thing is, you would have bought this with your budget money, you know, your, your sort of one ninety nine, and he would have been delighted with this with one ninety nine. These are the days when I used to go down the the, the market to buy these things. We didn't, we, you know, and we're not talking about the dodgy kind with the sort of the printed photocopy things. So I lived up north in a certain place up north, and let's be honest, we didn't see many of the dodgy copies of things because literally we lived up north and nobody had a computer. If you had a computer, you were rich. So, 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 so we only got the real original games, if that makes sense. Let's try any other ship with that one. Let's go with this one. I've turned off the art, making them armed. It should be a little easier when they're unarmed. Um, but. Yeah, we used to go to the market to buy them. The market was almost as almost as populated as W. H. Smith's when it came to sort of um, computer games. I even got my copy of um, uh, my first copy of, of of Green Beret from the market rather than anywhere else. That was where I got it from. I quite like this. Um, it's a lot easier when they're not armed, though. I have to admit. I need to need to let me out my weapon discharge there. So what? Am I, how am I meant to survive? How long am I meant to survive for here? Is there a time limit? I do feel like I'm, I'm, they're actually having very little effect on that base there. They're just impacting on the shield, and I'm just collecting score here. I think that's what I think. I think that's the aim of the game, just to collect score. They all come from the same direction as well, like the way they just. Oh, it went through. Oh, if they hit the satellite thing, you've had it. Ah, oh, right. Okay, so the only thing you have to defend is the satellite. They hit the satellite, you've had it. Right, I think. Anyway, 
seems kind of that way. And they just sort of descend slowly. I'm shooting lots of them though. I'm making lots of points. Look at my score. Fantastic score. There we go. I quite like it. It's not bad. But I say it's not a cheap one this anymore, unfortunately. Um this 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 was one of the few that I needed to finish my 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 my, my uh, Virgin Games sort of uh, plink and blue collection as they, as they are. That this is the this is one of the few last ones I need. The last one I finally got was uh, Racing Manager. That's and that's it. I'm done. I've done the whole lot. Anyway, I'm also done with this game. Uh, so <laughs> thank you for watching. I've been your host Real Genetic Demon and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye now.